Hello everyone dear, welcome back to classes. This is teacher Shamira Koyi. So today we're going to be doing something very fun and exciting in our science lesson. But first, let us sing our good morning song. So let's start. Come on, sing along with me. Good morning, good morning. Good morning to you. Good morning, good morning. Good morning to you. Let's learn and play. And have some fun being here today. Alright, so now let's sing it one more time, but this time I want you to sing it a little bit louder. Let's start. One, two, three. Good morning, good morning. Good morning to you. Good morning, good morning. Good morning to you. Let's learn and play. And have some fun being here today. Alright, so that was a very good morning and how are you guys i hope that you are doing good just as i am all right so today we're all going to be scientists and i want you first to cover your eyes place your hand um in front of your eyes and i want you to be as quiet as possible so that you can listen to everything that is happening around you pay very keen attention to every single thing do you hear that? That's a dog barking. Can you hear that? That's a bird chirping. Can you hear those people laughing? Who can tell me what all of these things are? These things are called songs. And songs are all around us. Every day we listen to different, different types of songs. It doesn't matter what produces the songs. Songs are made the same way through vibration. Can anyone tell me what is vibration? Very good, you're very smart. Vibration is the back and forth movement of an object. Songs are created when object vibrates and send waves of energy to our ears. Alright, so now that we know what song is and what produces song, we are going to talk a little bit more of different types of song. But first, I want you to listen carefully to, to these two types of songs. The first one here is a whistle. The other one is the roar of a lion. Listen to it very carefully. Let's listen to it one more time. Whistle, roar of a lion. What type of songs are you hearing? All right, very good. You guys are very smart. You have your thinking cap today. When listening to the whistle, we can hear a high song. When listening to um, the roar of the lion, we can hear a low sound and there's a special word that we use to tell um when a when a song is high or low can anyone give me the name of that special word excellent that's called pitch pitch tells us when a song is high or low and the words low and high are also known as high pitch and low pitch I know that you might be wondering what is high pitch or what is low pitch or how are high or low pitch produced. All right, today we're going to be scientists and we are going to find out how high and low pitch are produced. And we're going to do a mini experiment, but first we need our materials. We need a balloon and we need a hex nut. If you don't have a hex nut, you can use a marble. Also, you need to have your um, observation sheet ready. The one that says my science experiment sheet, you need to have that ready so that you can record all the observations done from this experiment. So let's start with our experiment. You're going to place the hex nut inside the balloon. Make sure it enters in the balloon. Gotta make it go down. All right, then you're going to blow your balloon. Then you're going to tie your balloon. 
And remember that song is made through vibrations. And what does vibration mean? Vibration means the back and forth movement of something, right? So we are going to start moving our balloon. We're going to start moving it. Aha, do you hear that? That's a sound. So let's try it a little more faster, a little bit faster. Let's go slower. All right. What is it that you um, are observing? What is it that you observe when the balloon is moving faster? Very good. The pitch goes higher. Let's listen to it. High pitch. So if we move our balloon slower, the pitch goes slower. So this is how high pitch and low pitch are produced. If you move your balloon faster, when an object or the balloon vibrates fast, then you produce a higher pitch. If you move your balloon slower, then you produce a lower pitch. And this is how high and low pitch are produced. So now that we have learned how high and low pitch songs are made, um, we are going to listen to different songs and we have to identify whether they have a high pitch or a low pitch. So I would want you to stand up if you're sitting down. When you identify this song and if you think that it has a high pitch, you are going to stand tall and you are going to raise your hands reaching for the sky. And if you think that this song has a low pitch, then you are going to squat down. So the first song is the sound of a cow. Do you think that the sound of a cow is a high pitch or a low pitch? Tiptoe and reach for the sky if you think it, it is a high pitch or squat down low if you think it is a low pitch. All right, very good. It is a low pitch. Let's listen to the second one. The laughter of a witch. Do you think it has a high pitch or a low pitch? Excellent, it has a high pitch. All right, so I hope that you enjoyed this lesson as much as I did. Remember to complete your record sheet, the one that says my scientist experiment, and you complete it, you take a picture of it, and you send it to me via WhatsApp. All right, see you tomorrow. Bye.